from our initial sign up, we had set up this as a domain name that we've set up for our intranet. So it's cleverbusiness.mightybell.com. So that'll be whatever you chose at the start there will be this part here. So you can edit that subdomain. So if I wanted to change that to something completely different, the, this first part here, I could go into edit subdomain and update that. The other op option you've got, if you click up the top here on custom domain, is to actually set up a custom domain that points through to this clever business at Mighty Bell address. So what I can do, I can actually get this detail here and I can go into my domain name settings and you actually add this as a C name record. So I'm hope, hopefully I'm not losing any of, any of you here, but this is if you're using something like Namecheap, this is how you'd set it up with the host www across the cleverbusinesses.mightybell.com. So I click on that. So now that C name record is set up and we come back over here and we type in the domain name that we want to have. Like that and click save. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as a subdomain, but if I wanted to have it across to the actual domain name that you use generally in your business or perhaps you've got another one set up. You could even set it up as what's called a subdomain. So that could be intranet.thecleverbusiness.com. So you could either do that yourself or speak to your IT department about that. If you wanted to do it yourself, you'd come back over here. I'd Instead of www, intranet click save. So now anything that anyone who goes to intranet.thecleverbusiness.com in my case, but in your case, it'll be intranet.yourcompany website name will go through to your um, intranet. And so that could be a really handy way of just having it branded really nicely for your employees and easy for them to find. Um, so that's a quick and easy way to set up a custom domain name but it definitely is an optional part of using this it mainly just comes down to the kind of vanity factor of whether you want to have to keep the dot mighty bell dot com for your intranet or whether you want to go for a more custom domain name